In this learning, we will talk about ungrouped data and grouped data. So we will first start with the ungrouped data. Here we are given one variable age and this is a simple data array. So it is called ungrouped data. because it has not been classified into any frequency distribution. So normally when we have a raw data, so it, this is uh, arranged into a data array and we have no frequency distribution over there. But this ungrouped data in some books is called individual series data also. Certain books on statistics call it data array, but many books uh, on statistics also call it individual series data. Now the same data can also be arranged into what is known as discrete frequency distribution. How we do that? For example, here 14 would be placed one tally bar over here. Again, we have 14. We will place one more tally bar here. 16 we will place one tally bar here 18 we will place one tally bar here and this way we place all the data so this way we place tally bars and then we count the tally bars so there are 14 appears twice 15 appears two times 16 appear four times 17 appear four times 18 appears 5 times, 19 appears 3 times, so total is 20. So the third way data can be arranged into frequency distribution is called continuous frequency distribution. So here, for example, 14 would come in this category, again 14 would come in this category, 16 would come in this category and we have options to make including series or excluding series. For example, here 18 comes into this category. 19. Now if it is something which is called less than or equal to type of uh, arrangement then 19 would come in this category. But if we take it as less than which means upper limit is excluded then 19 would go in this category. So upper limit is included or excluded will decide which value goes into which category. So in this question we are assuming that we are following included upper limit inclusive method. So since upper limit is included it means 19 will be in this category. So 16 will be in this category, 17 would be in this category because upper limit is included, 18 would be in this category. So this way we analyze all the items and place all the items. So if we organize data in 
inclusive method if we use inclusive method we get values in first series we get four values here we get eight values and here we get eight values again total is 20 and in the last series we don't have any value but if we organize the same information with exclusive method and upper limit is excluded it means 15 will be taken here 17 will be taken here 19 would be taken here if we use this method then we get two values in the first series and then six then nine and then three and total should be 20 again now this thing organizing the data from individual to discrete series or continuous frequency distribution or continuous series does not have to be manual you know it like manually it looked it seemed like a big task but we can use spss to do this stuff so we will learn it how so here we have this variable age variable and it is being set up as a numeric variable with the measure is a scale now we go to analyze descriptive statistics and from here we click frequencies and if i reset it and start again here then i take age as the variable and i click ok and here we are we clearly see that this is now what we called discrete frequency distribution so it is telling us 14 appears twice 15 appears also two times 16 appear four times 17 appear four times 18 appear five times 19 appear three times and there are total of 20 items and this is the same result that we got here when we classified these values manually so spss quickly uh, transforms the individual series which we can also call which we can also call data array into the discrete frequency distribution so it not only gives a frequency in this column but it also gives a percentage and it also gives a cumulative percentage in the last column now the question arises how we can uh, set up uh, uh, how we can convert the individual series the data array like this into the continuous series or grouped frequency data like 13 to 15 15 to 17 17 to 19 19 to 21 so for this purpose we go into this data file so we are into this data file grouped data dot sav and we want to create this breakup uh, 13 to 15 and so on and we want to for example use exclusive method so in this data file we will go to transform go to visual binning and here we get this variable age and we send it to variable to bin click continue and then this dialog box comes up it is telling us that current variable is age and the label is age of the respondent and it is asking for information that the binned variable would be called what so we will call it age category and we will give it a name label of age category and here we have to add those data points those classes 
so since we preferred from 13 to 15 so what i will do here is i will double click here and type 15 and once i have typed i will click on the side on 2 and then i will double click here type 17 click on the side here double click here type 19 click on the side here and finally double click here type 21 click on the side here so let us make sure we are getting the same yes 13 to 15 15 to 17 17 to 19 and 19 to 21 so this is what we have got but labels we have to give so we can give them labels say 13 to 15 and we are making sure that we are using excluded method here 15 to 17 excluded method 17 to 19 these are labels i'm typing making sure excluded method is there and 19 to 21 21 and excluded method is there so now i have entered all the all the intervals interval cut points as well as the labels i click ok and the message is that now spss will create one variable that is what we want so a second variable named age category would be created i click ok and spss is processing this information i will minimize it and here our age category variable has been created and if you want to see it in the variable view you can see it here that spss has created these age categories if you want to click any age category and remove it you can remove it here but here our data view has been showing that age category has been created but here age category has been created but we have not been able to finalize yet that what is the continuous frequency distribution that how many items re fall between 13 to 15 like to 15 to 17 6 17 to 19 there are nine items and from 19 to 21 there are three items so this has not been finalized yet in order to do that so to complete the frequency distribution we will be using the table features so we will going to uh, we will go to analyze tables and we will go to custom tables and there is some message coming up i will click ok to proceed so i will click ok and here what happens is sometime the table from the previous uh, calculation is displayed but here we what we will do we will click age category and i will hold the mouse and drag it on the row side and then i will click on summary statistics and it is showing me that it will do the counting of each category this is what i am expecting so i will close this or i will apply to the selection after applying it to selection i will click ok and here we are so spss has created this continuous series for us which is telling us that there are two items between 13 to 15 age category there are two respondents in this age group six are between 15 to 17 nine are between 17 to 19 and three are between 19 to 21 and this is the same result that we got when we did 
द क्लासिफिकेशन बाय एक्सक्लूसिव मेथड एक्सक्लूसिव मेथड मींस दैट द अपर लिमिट इज एक्सक्लूडेड सो दिस वे वी कैन यूज एस पी एस एस टू कन्वर्ट द डेटा एरे और इंडिविजुअल सीरीज इन टू ग्रुप्ड डेटा विच कैन बी ए डिस्क्रीट सीरीज और कॉन्टीन्यूस सीरीज